Hey animators, um, one of the uh, demos I showed when I initially was working on this tool was this little cape animation on this cool rig from Kill Figgins and I thought I might do a quick demo just showing how I approached it using the Wavit tool. It's pretty simple, um, but I just thought, you know, why not? It's a quick, quick simple uh, way to, to illustrate how I would use it on something other than uh, like a tail. So I've already got the animation in here, so I'm actually going to just delete it. And uh, just reset. So we're starting off with no animation. I'm going to set my timeline again to 25 frames. I'm going to select these guys in order. And I'm going to create an S curve. I've got the size set to about 2. Which, um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offset the base a little bit. Maybe up a little bit. Something like that, say. And then try the S curve there. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I'm going to just key that on frame 1 and frame 25 and then frame 13. I'm going to invert that curve. And then halfway between them, I'm going to have a C curve. And halfway between them, I'm going to have an inverse C curve. So that's the first one. And it looks kind of weird without the other ones done, but that'll start looking more natural. I'm going to select this section of the cape now. Again, it set them in order. And I might make the size just a little bit bigger maybe uh, something like that and again hit an S curve yeah I like that and then just key that here key it here and then 13 inverted and then C curve and then inverse C curve that's starting to look a bit better last one this one I might make it Let's try to make it a little bit bigger as well. Let's again let's just do an S curve. Key it. Key it. Inverse S curve. C curve. Uh, inverse C curve. So I've got a slightly different size of sleeping so that's pretty much it, but the thing that's missing now is a nice offset between the three parts of it. So I'm gonna select all of these guys. And then I'm going to go into the graph editor, and I'm just going to look at... I'm actually going to make them all cycle. So, I'm just going to click this button and this button, and then I can see they're cycling. And just it's only rotate Z I need to worry about, so I'm just going to only show those. So now I've got them cycling into infinity. I'm going to take off the um, negative frame. And then the last thing I did, really, was very simple, was just grab these ones and just pull them back a frame i have a hotkey to do that there and then these ones maybe same kind of thing maybe just push them forward a couple so now i've got like a frame offset between the first and then two frames offset so now i get a little bit of a uh, and from there then i would do what i did with the other and one of the other videos the uh polishing stage just try and you know make the curves look pretty because for most of it it'll probably look fairly decent um but you'll see here like in some of them this this example this example here this curve doesn't look good at the end so i'll grab those last two handles and just smooth that out let's have a look at this one that's not bad same thing here grab the last first and last handles smooth that out probably gonna do the same thing here same thing here same thing here it's just my as other tangents say that they don't work great over the end of a loop but once you've done that yeah it seems to be just those two that needed it yeah uh, so that's a little bit smoother now and that's it and then from there on like you can you know you can start actually tweaking if i wanted to make this up higher you know in general i just grab that and just oops i want to move it in time just move it in space or in value so now i can make the whole cape up higher or pull it down a bit you know the the wave of tool mightn't give you the exact pose you're looking for but it gives you the motion very quickly and then you can kind of adjust the motion then very easily in the graph editor but to get the actual pose you specifically want so that's it just want to keep that short and simple but um just thought i'd give that as a quick demo of how i like to use the, the wave of tool cheers